Brown. What about Chris Brown? Did you check out his new album? Chris is dope. Um, the album I did not get a chance to check out. But I feel like people want to see more from him. He's a, he's a talented guy. Um, very, very cool dude. Um, I've heard he, he can get a little egotistical at times. That has nothing to do with me. I can too. But at the same time, the album, I haven't. I haven't taken a listen to it. Um, are they saying bad things about it? Yeah. Yeah, it only did 70,000 the first week. And it was kind of like a hip-hop, more sounding album. And a lot of people were kind of just like, you know, felt like it kind of what, what isn't what they're looking for. You know, they, they, you know, Chris Brown gets compared to Michael Jackson a lot. So you kind of expect him to do. I don't see how. You know, a little different. Michael didn't beat his bitches. I never beat any of my bitches. <laughs> they lied. <laughs> no, but but I'm just saying when it comes. I, down I think to, they were talking about musically compared yeah, to uh, yeah, not but but musically, but yeah, but musically, personally, man, it, it's not too many people that could be me. But what I can tell you is, at the end of the day, he does hold a candle to a lot of people that is in the industry. You know, like Tank, all these people that, you know, when it comes to his voice, all that stuff, dancing. Yeah, he murders a lot of people. But when it comes down to just that, nah, I can't. You know, they use that. They use Michael Jackson's name lightly, too lightly, way too lightly. They comparing to Michael that don't, can't even, nigga. <laughs> you feel me like you, you know what i'm saying it's just a from mystique to like i said that old time hollywood type of swag you know it's just mystique it's 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 who you know it's what you're able to see what energy you're able to manipulate you know who's what sharks are in your tank you know um uh his music is a product of his mind you know uh music is the the definition of music is people being able to pay you more than a penny for your thoughts Okay. What are these niggas thinking? I have no idea. You, okay, thank you. You know, the definition of music is people being able to pay you more than a penny for your thoughts. They ain't thinking shit to get more than a penny. Okay. You feel me? So that's where we're at right now musically with Chris Brown. We want to hear more, but there's nothing. He's not thinking about nothing. It's nothing that's create. He is, when Tyler Perry writes some shit, he goes to Cancun, <laughs> okay? He goes sit there and on the beach, and he'll come back with six movies. You know, it, it, you have to. You got to go and focus. You got to focus. Go to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? And figure out what is the heart of the public. Um, now me and now I feel like if me and Chris did some shit, that'd be dope. It's something people would be excited about. Lando and Chris, that's new shit. We both bad. We both got the same brown and shit. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. But we're looking for more than just the sex symbol. You know what I'm saying? We looking for some shit. We trying to shake up the world, baby. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to do some real shit out here. You know what I mean? I got in my Diddy mode. I'm sorry. I started licking my lip. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkash Kusmash. You gave me the Ooshkash Muaf. The Shmoosmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gave me the Ooshkash Muash. I love it, yo. I love it. You gave me the Ooshkash Muash. And. <laughs> that whoosh gosh watch. You know what I'm talking about, Diddy? Mm. Mm. Diddy. Mm. Oh, God. You know, one thing I do see about you is people do actually say good things about your music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. When? <laughs> uh, 
If I go fail my head, man, go ahead. <laughs> you said, yeah, my music, um, I think it's cool, man. I think, uh, for the most part, you know, uh, I like doing the music thing only because it puts me in a position to where I could be free to say what's going on with me and nobody really judge me or have something to say like extra or something like that. Like, like in my music, nobody can tell me I'm wrong. Um, in my music, nobody can hold me hostage. Nobody can tell me who I'm not. Nobody can lock me up, lie to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always about to start crying talking about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's my world. Like, my son. Like, my kids. Yeah, I just keep my eyes on my babies. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. A song to me, like, my babies. That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for them, for my babies. When they go back and they look at their dad's writing and all that stuff, it's for my bait. So I'll be serious, you know. Um, that's what my music is, man. I'm, I'm glad that a lot of people um, uh, see, see, see positive and hear, hear the positive in it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not with the, the cussing a lot in my music. I'm not with um, uh, uh, the whole gospel, pro-gospel thing. No, it's, you know, uh, don't be afraid to, uh, to acknowledge what God has done in your life. And, um, and, don't, and, don't, and don't be trying to hide what God has done for you in your life. And, um, and, and, and don't be afraid to be a testimony um, because of a lot of things that have happened in your life. Because um, a lot of people... Um, have gone through probably what you've gone through and, 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 and worse than that and uh and, and flaws in people's lives uh uh they 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 they, they sharpen up the soul you know so don't be afraid to express your flaws don't be flawed and wallow in it but express your flaws because there's so many people that are flawed and that have flaws and I think that they got to like if like if I come to this interview like I was telling him come to this interview I gotta go over here to the to, I gotta just now pick up my outfit from the damn dry cleaners like, everything got to be perfect no niggas dog dog hair I got dogs no you know what I mean it, it's it's real shit going on in life man everybody can't be perfect yo ain't nobody perfect man and I think that's what that's what people are forgetting man you know and that's what a lot of people are missing with Chris's album too they expected it to be perfect and it's like come on man he just doing music he just doing what he loved. Skip the ego. Skip this. Skip this and that. I mean, I'm just doing what I love. I'm just regular Chris. Doing what I love. Where's Orlando? Because <laughs> these niggas don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, that part. <laughs> when did music become a passion of yours? Uh, music been a passion of mine ever since my mom taught me how to start singing. Ever since my mom taught me how to start singing. I, I, um, you were singing at first? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I've known to do is sing, but, you know, um, they told me I couldn't rap, so I focused and conquered it, and so the second album is going to be all R&B, but, um, yeah, man, I, 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 my mom, uh, she just, she taught me how to, she taught me how to sing, I fell in love with it, and that's where, that's where it all, that's where I'm winded.